Many people start their day with different things on their mind, like what to wear, check their social media, work, and how much money they can make. Not putting God first and suddenly, in a moment, they will die and the people will be troubled at midnight and pass away and the mighty will be taken away without a hand. This is why you need the midnight prayer. Pleasant good morning to you all. It's now three minutes past the hour of 12 midnight and we are here to determine God's blessings in your life. Today, Saturday, is a very special day. It's the day of the impossible. The word of God tells us that Jesus worked impossible miracles. When the blind approached him, the blind was born with that impairment, with that problem. But Jesus reached out to him and healed him. The paralytic as well. Jesus reached out to him and healed him. Jesus worked impossible miracles in his time. But why did he do so? Because Jesus was constantly fasting and praying. At night he used to find himself on Mount Olives, early in the morning, fasting, consecrating himself. So he was able to work extraordinary miracles. And this Saturday, today, Pastor Leo, is the day for the impossible to become possible in the life of those who want to see extraordinary miracles. Indeed, Pastor Marco. And as you just spoke about this miracle, what caught my attention when we read the Bible, the greatest day of the week, the, no, the greatest day of the week that Jesus performs greatest miracles was on Saturdays. And today, 7 in the morning, we are going to be in fast because as the Bible say, there are kind that does not go out if it's not true. Fast and prayer. And that's why I will be here in fast and prayer for those who have an impossible case. If they want to see this impossible case, this problem, like that is infirmity, like a cancer, this HIV, this high blood pressure, finances problem, family problems. If you want to see this impossible case to become possible, today, 7 in the morning, I'll be here in fast to, make, to, to cast out this evil that only go out through fast and prayer. This kind of problem, this kind of situation, this kind of challenge, hardship, obstacle, only comes out through fasting and prayers. For this reason, as you have heard, Today, 7 a.m., we are going to be together in fasting, praying for you so that the impossible may become possible in your life. Once we have said so, we come to our moment of prayer. Let us talk to God. Our God and Father, in the name of Jesus, we now pray that no matter the challenge, the hardship, the problem, your people who now pray with us may be going through. You are the solution to all the problems they face. You are the answer, my Father, to all the questions they have. So I call on you right now on their behalf and I ask you to reach out to them, those people that they have been unable to sleep, those people that they are suffering with anxiety, depression, oppression, they feel burdened. Those people, my Father, right now, that they have somehow developed low self-esteem and they have been thinking of dying, they have been thinking that life is no longer worthy living. Oh, Father, I call on you. I call on you because there are people praying with us that they feel as if the problem they are facing is but impossible. There is no search for you. Because when we call upon your name, when we exercise your faith, you reach out to us and you transform our lives. So I call on you and I ask you reach out to this person right now, no matter where this person is, and transform this person's life. My God, take this person out of this bottomless pit 
Yes, because this person feels as if he or she is in a free fall and this person never reached the bottom. It feels like nothing this person tries to do prevents her from keep falling. And my God, the pain is unbearable. The distress is unbearable. Time has come for this person to be free. So I call on you and I ask you, reach out to her, reach out to her and set them free, my Father. Restore their lives, transform their lives. Even today, Saturday, as we are going to be fasting and praying for your people, as we are going to be together seven o'clock in the morning in your house in order to intercede on their behalf, make the impossible to become possible. With a blessing, I bless all those who now pray with us the prime minister, the ministers, the president, the governors, the authorities of this nation be blessed as well. And all those who are pursuing a better life, may the light of God shine on you and the spirit of God strengthen you because we determine that what is yours now comes to your hands. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and we who agree and believe say, Amen. Amen. My dear friend, you are blessed indeed. Today, Saturday, 7 o'clock in the morning, 10 o'clock in the morning, as well, 12 o'clock midday. But 7 o'clock is the most important service of the day, when Pastor Liu will be fasting and praying for you. Isn't it? Isn't it? Is it, Pastor? That's it. Tomorrow, so, 7 in the morning. You can't so, miss. Today. 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 Seven in the morning. Today, seven o'clock in the morning. You can't miss it. Arise and shine. Be blessed. Together, we are strong. I am Anne Marie. Before I came to the Universal Church, at one at, at a point in time, my life was, my financial life was not not good. Money used to come in my hand. I used to have the money, but did not stay in my hand. So with that, I couldn't accomplish anything. So. It's like the money coming in and the money going and you don't know where the money going. So sometimes to, even to buy grocery, you wonder, well, how come I don't have money to buy my, my groceries and money coming in your hand? So because of that, when I started going to the Universal Church, I heard the pastor speaking about tithing and I wanted to know, well, exactly what it's all about because I heard about tithing already, but I never really get the depth of tithing because I, I keep saying like, I'm not giving any church my money or any pastor my money or so. So then when the pastor explained to me what, it, what tithing is all about and the blessing that you get from tithing, and they read Malachi um, 3 verse 8 to 11, I went home and I, go, I went back in the Bible and I saw it, you know, and I meditate on it. And with that, I started to be faithful to God by returning my 10% at all times. No matter how bad a situation might be, I put aside that money first. Then I started to see blessing in my life. So I take possession of my money now, and every time I return my, my 10%, I ask God you know, that my 90%, he will stretch it so that I can do what I have to do. So I start seeing money coming in my hand and money staying in my hand. I would be able to do whatever I have to do. I take possession until I end up, you know, buying a new vehicle and things that I had to do in my house, I started to do it. And, you know, my life is, is blessed financially right now. And, but the greatest, the greatest of all is like receiving the Holy Spirit. That was my greatest achievement, to receive the Holy Spirit. Because without the Holy Spirit, I could not have done this. I could not have done anything. Well, anybody who went through the same situation or going through the same situation, I would tell them, like, go to the Universal Church, learn about um, the tithing, read Malachi 3, verse 8 to 11, you know, meditate on it, and see the blessing that God could give in your life.